hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can create an amazon thank you card so if you'd like to see that continue watching this video so starting off guys i'm going to create a design then selecting custom dimensions for the width i'll make that five inches and for the height that's going to be four inches then selecting create new design so now that i have my page here i'm going to head to elements then i'm typing in gradients and i'm going to select this gradient here Now the beautiful thing about the gradient here guys is that you can change the color of it. So I'm just going to do that. So to change the color, you just simply click on these and choose a color from any of the ones available. Okay, so I'm going to work with this color here. Now I'm going to add the text. So to add text, I'm pressing T on the keyboard. So the first word is thank you. Should be a capital T. So next I'm adding the word you for this design. Now I'm just going to change the font style. I'm going to select virtual. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go back in and just drag to make the words bigger. Next, I'm going to just enlarge the gradient as well so that it's a bit bigger. And then I'm just basically repositioning the letters and the, the words and the gradient. All right, so I'm going to work with that. So no, I'm going to add some more text. So guys, this is where you can be more creative. You can decide to write what you wish to have on yours. For this particular one, I'm going to put, thank you for your purchase. So I'm going to add another text box so i can type that in so now that i have the text box i'm just going to quickly change the font style i'm going to change it to arimo so this is going to be for your purchase i need this to be uppercase so i'm going to click on uppercase to make the letters uppercase Thank you for your purchase then i'm going to add in some more text so this is gonna be like a call to action so if you love your purchase please leave a review So the letters are all uppercase, so I want them to be lowercase. So I'm just highlighting them and clicking this icon again to change that out. So I'm going to make these words bold. Okay, next I'm going to add some stars to it. So that's basically like when you, you know, when you're giving a review online and you select those stars. So in elements, I am going to type in the word stars and just browse through until I see the one that I want. 
so this is looking like the one that i need to work with this star that i selected guys is available on the pro version so if you're doing this free you could select this free one and so i have it here but we can't see it because the background is white so you'd select the free one that is there and just go over to color and select a color that is very close to uh, yellow. Okay, this can work. All right, so for those of you using the free version, then you can easily do this as well. There should be colors of yellow that are brighter than this, so you can always go through and check. So I need to have five of them. So that's the first one. So now I'm going to select it and duplicate it f uh, four times so I can have five of it. By clicking the duplicate icon in the top right here. Great, so now I'm just gonna position them alongside each other. Now that that's done guys, we're going to add some more ticks which will basically invite you know your customers to connect with you on your other social media platforms i'm going to first change this font style out to kashan script okay that should be right so that's connect and here at this little section connect with us guys you can go ahead now and add your different social media platforms so in this instance i'm going to add an instagram icon and to do that i'm heading back to elements and typing in instagram and selecting this black one to basically have the colors you know matching <laughs> so that's the instagram and right here you'll just add text and type in your instagram name so basically whatever your insta gram name is you'd put it right here Next, you can also look for an icon that would represent your website. So you just need to type in the word website in element and search through until you see one that's available for free or on the pro version, depending on which version of Canva you're using. So this one is free that I have here. So I just set it right here and then add text and this would be your website.com so whatever your website is you'll just type it in here okay guys so this is it this is how you can create your thank you amazon thank you card in canva let me know what you think of it in the comment section below if you want to go ahead and print multiple copies of this guys then you have the option of basically duplicating the page so you can select the duplicate page icon and duplicate it as many times as you want or to save time and all of that you can go ahead now and download the image in png form so I have three open, so I'll have to select page one. So download the image. And I'm going to show you what you need to do after you download the image. So the image is downloaded, guys. So you then need to, or what you can do is to just head back to the home page of Canva, type in flyer to get a flyer template. select a blank one then guys you would go ahead and upload your image to canva
okay once your image is uploaded then you can just click on it to add it to your flyer and then you'll resize it so that you can fit at least two horizontally on your flyer so you can just go ahead resize it and make some duplicates of it so that's two drag and copy those duplicate them and drag and place them here you should be able to have six fitting on one page so so once you've done that guys you would you can just go ahead and again download download it as a png file and once you've downloaded it you can go ahead and print it but make sure you have the specific printing paper for printing cards before you you know do your printing so you just need to put that printing card in your printer and select print on your computer and you should be able to print it or quite nicely so that's it for today guys let me know in the comment section what you think Feel free to ask any questions that you may have. Until my next video, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye.